Hello everyone, MC Tammer here with a quick tips and tricks video. Has this ever happened to you where you're working on a mesh and you load it into Blender after modifying it in NIFScope and it kind of looks weird and glossy? Uh, I've noticed it happens a lot with armor. Uh, here you'll see it seems to lack definition and it kind of looks melted and smooth and then when you when you export it when you open it in NIFScope again it's missing and the the part that you were modifying disappeared uh, why is that well the answer is because the materials property got deleted Now, here is uh, an example of it happening with a weapon. Uh, when I highlight the, the receiver here, notice that there's only two uh, sub-branches here. The BS Shader PP Lighting Property and the Nitri Strips Data. If you look at the same, uh, the same piece from the base game mesh, you'll notice that it has the base game one has this nine material property branch, which is missing from the from the modified mesh. Now, how does that happen? This usually happens when you remove branches from the mesh using NIFScope. So, for instance, here I'm going to delete this charging handle and watch what happens to the color of the receiver when I do. When I remove branch, notice how the receiver kind of went dark? That's because the materials property got deleted when I deleted the caulking handle. Now, to prevent this from happening, what you need to do is click on Spells optimize split properties and that way all of the uh like the material properties the texture properties get split so that each one of these nodes that has the 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 texture or the materials property on all that it basically splits the properties so that deleting one branch does not affect all of the others so in this case, if I were to delete this caulking uh, mechanism, you'll notice that the color here didn't change and that this material property is still in place. So when you're working on meshes in NIFScope, you have to be aware of this because I don't know of any way to fix it after the fact. Like... Uh, for instance, with this, uh, with this Ranger Combat Armor, now that the, now that it's gone, even if you were to replace, if you were to copy the materials property from the base game one and paste it over here, And copy the uh, the shader property and paste it over. It doesn't bring back the the missing data. So if this happens to you, you're gonna have to revert to an earlier version from before you deleted the the part that caused the materials uh, property to be removed. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching, and happy modding!